Hi, I'm Atul and I'm in East London. Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm in South West London. So today we're going to show you a game that I use with my older students on their very first session with me. I use it as a diagnostic assessment. Um, we use a 10-sided dice and the aim is to make the largest number possible. But when you roll the dice and get a digit, you choose which box to put it in, but it cannot move from that box once it's placed in. So, let's have a go at playing. Atoll, why don't you start? Roll my dice. I've got a one. My instinct tells me to go for this one here. Okay. I've got a four. So I'm going to go here. Seven. One. Two. Five. Four. Two. So at this point of the game, I would ask the student, who do you think is going to win? Well, I think there's still all to play for. It depends on the last roll. Interestingly, though, most students will say, look at these numbers that you would win. So let's roll your turn for the final turn. I've got a six. Not bad. I would ask them again, now, who do you think is going to win? And then I'd say, is there any possibility that I could win? And we'd have a discussion about it. And then after a discussion, I would roll. I scored an eight. So then I would ask the student, who won the game? Well, you won that one. Okay. And, and I'd ask them, do they know a symbol that they could use to show that my number was bigger than theirs? Uh, yeah, I'll put that one down. Quite often this takes a lot of thought power for them because they haven't used it for a while. And then afterwards I say, so how do you know that my number is bigger than your number? Well, you've got 80,000 something or the other, and I've got 60,000 something or the other, so you've got more by that, yeah. Perfect. Well, actually, most students will not actually say that. They'll just go, well, you've got an 8 and I've got a 6, so 8 is bigger than 6, so mine's bigger. So when they say that, I say, but what's that 8 worth? And usually they look quite puzzled. So... Using the place value counters at the bottom, I would ask them to make their number. So let's both of us together make our different numbers. Okay, so from here, we can then see really clearly that my eight is worth 80,000 and your six is worth 60,000. So that is how we can compare the numbers. And we can have all sorts of discussions about whether we could have made a larger number and who would have won that way. What we notice about the digits in the larger number. If a student found this really easy, we could extend it by um, having numbers up to a million or 10, or 10 million or 100 million and also into decimals and then we can also swap it around so that we can actually have who can make the smallest number and see how the game changes that way so there's lots of different variations that you can do and it's a really good way of finding out what they really understand no so this is a great visual because you can you can just immediately tell that there is um eight of the highest value counters and six of the highest value counters on my side you can see 60,000 and you can see 80,000 so you know that's that takes it 
from my eight is bigger than just your six to um, I can see 80,000 versus 60,000 and the rest of the digits are irrelevant because that's those are the biggest biggest numbers yeah I like it exactly and I think the reason that I choose to do this is because um, by playing a game the children are much more relaxed rather than really anxious because it's a tutoring session and it doesn't feel like I'm testing them but actually I'm finding out so much information about what they do and they don't understand yeah that's great because it's by rolling the dice it makes it feel like it's a completely uh, a fair transaction between the two of you there's uh, it's just an element of randomness and uh, you know some knowledge as well but it does make it yeah much more fun yeah exactly yeah. so yeah that's how i have my first session with my oldest students great fantastic place value game yeah i look forward to um seeing other games and uh, next video we make together great bye bye